Hey, Francis, the Drive School Podcast. I am Pastor Goodman, and we are talking about the things that you're going to see in church this Sunday. This Sunday, it is still Easter. It, it is the second Sunday in Easter. It's a whole season, not just today, and that's awesome because now we get to talk more about resurrected Jesus. If you go to church this Sunday, you'll hear one of my favorite Bible stories. It is about Thomas, um, not doubting Thomas. That's not actually in the Bible. You know that, right? I wonder what it says about us that we give Thomas a nickname because he sinned in the same text that you will hear God give us absolution in. He actually says in this text, go out and if you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. But we still only want to remember him, not as the blessed apostle or confessing Thomas who said, my Lord and my God, but as doubting Thomas because he's the one guy who actually voiced the concern so many of us actually have. Why can't I see it too? I love this text because it's not about what Thomas did. It's about what Jesus did. Jesus showed up and said, peace be with you. Christ rose. Whether or not Thomas knew it, he rose. Whether or not you feel like church has become a place that you pretend you don't have sin rather than a place to bring the sins that you have so your pastor can forgive you because God loves you and died and rose for you. Uh, when we have this absolution, though, what we have is a gift that is given for your conscience so that you can actually hear the very same words that Thomas needed to hear peace be with you. That's, that's not sort of a, 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 an attack. That, that's not a, a snub. That, that's Jesus showing up to confront Thomas in his sin and offer him peace. And that's exactly what happens in church. This Sunday, if you go, you will hear your sins forgiven by your pastor who will say, in the stead and by the command of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's what's wonderful because now you can actually contend with who you are outside of what you have done or what you have thought or what you have Felt. It's rather, what did Jesus do? What does Jesus say? He died, he rose, he forgives. And now God sends out pastors for you, for your conscience, to, to cling to the very same thing that, that uh, Jesus sent the apostles with. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Your pastor forgives you. He gives you peace from God for you. Do not disbelieve, but believe. It, it's yours to hear because, well, Sometimes we struggle to the point that we're not going to shake this on our own. It's not just that we have to see the right things, but we do need to hear this blessed gospel. So go to church this Sunday and hear that your sins are forgiven in Jesus.